Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know that I currently have discounted reading specials going on right now. So, all you do is you visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. Give it a few seconds to pop up on your screen. There we go. And then we look over here and we have the specials and discounts page. So we click this link at the top of the page. It'll take us to the specials and discount section. And this is the current special that I have going on. Now, of course, you can always routinely check my website and my specials and discounts page to see if I have any new specials going on at any given time. Of course, I do have regularly priced offers as well. But if you're ever short on cash, as we all are sometimes, and you need a reading, please check out my specials and discounts page, all right, and see what offers I have going on there. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I can't wait to read for you, and I look forward to your support, and I thank you for your support, and I look forward to conversating with you and doing your reading, okay? Namaste, love, and light. If you have any questions, please check out the FAQ section on my website, the personal ethics section, the blog section, and of course, the reviews and personal reading testimonial section as well. The number one most dangerous zodiac sign. So this video is for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mars, your Mercury, your Jupiter, your Uranus, Mars, Pluto, Saturn, Venus, 1st through 12th house, North Node, South Node, Vesta, Chiron, Juno, and anything else in between, okay, your palace. Basically, if you have this zodiac sign anywhere prominent in your birth chart or astrology natal chart, this is for you. By the way, if you would like an astrology natal chart reading or interpretation, please uh, visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, to purchase a reading from me or a psychic tarot reading. So the most dangerous zodiac sign. Well, it's important to note that all zodiac signs have a capability of being dangerous, especially certain ones. But this zodiac sign in particular tends to have no chill. All right, not all the time, but sometimes. And this zodiac sign is. Can you guess? I'm going to give you a second. It's Aries. So Aries is ruled by Mars, and Mars rules aggression. It rules war. It rules sports and cars and that kind of masculine, dominant, powerful energy. Speaking of powerful, uh, Mars rules power. All right, so uh, Mars is highly attracted to power. All right, um, Mars also rules how we assert ourselves. It also rules um, how we express our raw energy, how we express our sexuality. So, um, yeah, with that kind of energy, you know, um, Aries can be very dangerous. Now, here are some reasons why Aries can be dangerous. Not just because they're ruled by Mars, and Mars, you know, can be a very violent kind of planet. That's not the kind of dangerous I'm talking about, but it definitely falls under this umbrella. What I mean by Aries are dangerous is that sometimes, you know, Aries being ruled by Mars can be very spontaneous. Now, Mars is a very carnal planet, so sometimes Aries tends to be um, led by their carnal desires, alright? But sometimes those carnal desires can be detrimental to other people such as maybe an Aries has a carnal desire to get revenge on someone who um, who now I'm gonna say this this is this it's not easy for it to get an Aries mad for the most part although they can be is that glitter in my hair although they can be um, you know temperamental hot-headed they're pretty, you know, I know that they said, that I said they have no chill, but, you know, I mean, they kind of know when to turn it on and when to turn it off for the most part. But one thing an Aries does not like is when people try to um, take their power away or uh, exert their power over on an Aries. That's like the number one way to piss an Aries off and see the dangerous side of them. Um... Now, a carnal desire of an Aries could be to put you in your place, to take that, their power back. 
to exert their power on to you, right? Um, but regardless, you know, Mars energy is just very, very dominant, very, very powerful, um, and unstoppable in a lot of ways. So when an Aries is upset, you know, they can be quite unstoppable. On the same side of that coin, if when an Aries is, you know, ambitious, when an Aries is determined, they can still be unstoppable. So, um, but they can also be dangerous in that same realm, you know, um, you know, when an Aries is unstoppable, all right, or someone with prominent Aries energy, because remember, you could be a Virgo sun, Libra moon, Pisces rising, and then have like a Venus and Aries, but that Venus and Aries is going to be super duper prominent and is still going to show through, you know. Um, so, I think the most thing, or the thing that makes Aries most dangerous is their tendency to give in to their carnal desires, um, their tendency to have no chill, aka their tendency to not necessarily always be able to kind of pull back from a situation, pull back from a decision and say, oh, okay, maybe this isn't the best decision to make right now. Sometimes Aries can just go off that carnal desire alone, that carnal instinct that they have. It's Mars, right? You know, so Mars doesn't really care, doesn't really think, it just acts and then thinks later, right? you know but with Aries you know and Aries can be dangerous to many people for many different reasons you know um, you know Aries are powerful you know when I think of Aries I think of um, amazing musicians like Aretha Franklin and um, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston. Um, who else is in Aries? Those are the most prominent ones I can think of right now. Um, very powerful. Their careers are very powerful, but you know, at the same time, you know, with that power, with that unstoppability, there were people out there that wanted to stop them. All right, because they were getting too powerful, because they were getting quote unquote dangerous, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, to some people, it's dangerous. To an Aries, it's just who they are, you know. I mean, if some people, some people can see their power as dangerous. Some people can see their power as um, something to be admired, you know, something to be respected and not feared, you know. Um, which is what, you know, the sense of danger comes from, right, is fear, fear of the unknown, fear of something that, you know, you perceive to be more powerful than you, you perceive to be better than you, you perceive to have something over on you, right, um, but I'll say this too, Mars can, you know, um, run on fear, all right, Mars Fear is like blood, fear is like, fear to Mars is like blood to a shark, you know, it's like, when a shark, when a shark smells blood, it knows that there's something weak out there that I can easily pounce on, exert my power, and get what I want. The same way when an area smells fear, you know, it's like there's a weak person around, you know, and I can use them to my benefit to get what I want. And in that way, they can also be dangerous, you know. So it, it doesn't always have to be like a, a force in your face danger. It can be kind of a manipulative danger, too, right? And, you know, they thrive off certain energies sometimes, you know. Remember, an Aries is all about power, so they thrive ultimately off power. Not all Aries, but you know, most. So when you're giving your, you know, your energy to them, you know, you're giving them power, you know, whether you're giving them fearful energy, admiration energy, or anything in between. So just be careful of how you step to an Aries. Just make sure you step correct and, you know, all should be fine. All should be well, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, this is, in my opinion, the most dangerous zodiac sign is Aries. What is your opinion? Um, what do you think is the most dangerous zodiac sign? Honorable mentions, definitely Scorpio. Scorpio is also ruled by uh, Mars, but Scorpio is also ruled by Pluto. So with Pluto, ruling transformation, evolution, all those types of things, I would give Scorpio, or with Scorpio being ruled by Pluto, 
I would give Scorpio um, the benefit of a doubt that they would at least think before they act, think before they give into their carnal desires. What would this take my evolution backward, or would this you know expand my evolution uh, evolution forward, my transformation? Like they're those types of people who kind of will think before they act for the most part. Um, Leos can definitely be dangerous. You know they have that sun, self confidence, vitality for life. You know, um, the ego, right? Capricorns can be a bit dangerous, too. They thrive off power as well. All right. Um, am I forgetting anyone? Aquariuses can be a bit dangerous, I think, as well, to be honest. They're like the masterminds, you know, the geniuses. So what are your opinions? Cancers can be dangerous, too. Don't get it twisted. Okay. Um, I think all the zodiac signs can be dangerous in their own way, to be honest. So, but um, in my opinion, Aries takes the cake. So, if you would like to elaborate, or um, just to find out your, you know, what's going on in your birth chart, do you have Aries in your birth chart? Contact me on my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. Also, I do psychic tarot reading, so you can uh, contact me for a psychic tarot reading on my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. I do phone, I do email, I do video, recorded video, and so much more. I also do Skype and all those types of things. So check those out on my website. And please like this video, share with your friends and family, subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course, and um, follow me on my Instagram, at Lamar Townsend, like me on my Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official, and I'll catch you in the next video, okay? Namaste, love, and light. Have you been wanting to get a reading from me? Well, it's easy. Let's go through it together. So all you do is you visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. And you can visit the site on your computer or on your phone. And you click the store button right here at the top of the page. And here are all my services that I offer. I do candle offerings and all different types of birth chart readings and psychic tarot readings, messages from your spirit guides, and so much more. So you click the one that you want. You click the pay with PayPal button. And it'll take you to the PayPal page where you can pay for your reading. Now, you'll hear from me within 24 hours, you know, for your reading confirmation. And then I'll get your reading back to you within a 48-hour period. Usually, you know, it's, you know, a day or less, okay? So I look forward to reading for you. Thank you for your support.